All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna dive right into it today. This is part three of a five part mini series. This is a complete beginner's guide to making your first YouTube video in Adobe Premiere Pro with no experience whatsoever. So part three, we're gonna cover text titles and overlays. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this clip. Everything you see take place in this intro, we're going to do together. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make sure we got a good title screen. So I'm going to go over here to my intros and outros and I'm going to grab my intro, but I noticed that the frame rate here is 30 frames per second. So even though it's an intro and it's an animated clip and it's not an actual video, if we're bringing it into our sequence, we're going to want to make sure that the frame rate matches the rest of the footage in our sequence. We're going to right click, modify, interpret footage, go up here. So we're gonna grab our title, or our intro, and we're just gonna drag it and drop it right in here. So I'm gonna zoom in on this clip because it's a lot easier to edit when we're zoomed in. And this just doesn't stand out enough for me. So what I would wanna do is I'd wanna add a keyframe in here to make this video fade out and fade back in. So I would start at 100% by putting a keyframe here. So I started a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch here. So at, at the start position of this video, let's bring our opacity down to about 25%. And at this point, let's go ahead and set it at say 26, just so it maintains that position. So at position A was our first keyframe. We said start at 25%, stay there all the way to right here. And we change it from 25 to 26 because you won't actually notice it, but we needed to add another keyframe value there. Now right here, I wanna be back to 100%. And you can see the graph right here. How perfect is that, right? So right here when this ends, let's add a text and give her a shout out. So this is Vanessa Seco and she was shooting a music video for the DJ The Hotel Lobby or I should say with the DJ The Hotel Lobby. So we're gonna wanna give her a nice little shout out. We have our pointer tool selected so we can either take keyboard shortcut by pressing T and clicking anywhere in the photo. And now you can see I am actually going to start adding a text. So if we don't like the actual font we're using, now we need to go over into our graphics panel. That is where we can control a lot more with the text. If you take a look over here on the left hand side of your screen, you will also see position scale so I can scale it up. I can move the position left to right up and down. I can rotate it and anything I don't like I just hit command Z it'll undo. I can change the opacity of it but for now let's just go into the graphics panel and now you'll see the header text. So if we choose from the drop down we can choose from a ton of different stock fonts that Adobe's already provided for us. You can also create a favorites menu by clicking a star. So if there's a font that you use often starring it would be a good idea. I use this font a lot. We're gonna stick with that. I can also scale up the font, the actual size of the font here. I can make it centered, left of the screen, right of the screen. I can then stretch the font itself and make and add spacing between the letters if I wanted. I can then bring them really close as well. This right here is your offset for your line spacing. You can also choose different options down here as well. If you want it bold, not bold, subscript, small caps, all caps, small caps. I like small caps on that one. Maybe stretch it out just a little bit more now that it's not bold. If this was a text that looked, looked good with a stroke on it, you could also add a stroke, increase the stroke size, change the stroke color. If you wanted to add a background to it, you can add a background as well. You can change the color. If you click off anywhere, you can actually see what you're working with. Obviously, I don't like those things I was just kind of showing you, so I'm gonna Command Z that. Go back into the edit part, click on the text itself, remove that stroke, move the position where I want it. Maybe that might look better black. A lot of times I don't really know what I want, I kind of just play around with them until I find something that I'm actually happy with. That looks a lot better to me. So the next thing we can do is we can go into our effects panel and we can go to video effects and video transitions.
and you can add things like cross dissolves to make text fade in and fade out. So I'll add one at the beginning, add one at the end. If I click on it right there at the edge of it, you can see I can drag it and make the dissolve or the fade happen faster or slower. I find that when I'm looking at a text, I look at the timeline, it says nine seconds. If I move over here, I find that three second text fade in and fade out are really perfect. They're not too long, not too short. Now say my intro didn't happen fast enough and I wanted that intro to happen a little bit faster or technically since that's all gone there, I could actually have her name come in there a little bit sooner. All right, YouTube, now I just wanna show you one last thing. We're gonna show you a text keyframe position move. I build all of my subscribe buttons in Adobe After Effects and I export them in MP4 format. This was actually a subscribe button that I downloaded from EnvatoElements.com. It was already pre-built. I just changed the text here from subscribe to thanks for watching, please subscribe. I rendered it out and now I can just drag and drop it anytime I need to use it in a video. If you guys wanna learn more on that, I have links over here down in the description. Go up here to our text icon tool. We're gonna to click in here and we're gonna type Vanessa Secco. So now let's say we wanted this text to scroll across the top of the screen. We would move the text over to the whatever position we wanted it to start in. Over here on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see our position. I just click on them and just drag them from left to right. Up here is the length of my entire text. This is also a mini graph. So when I click the position right here, this is the stopwatch next to position is the keyframe start. When it turns blue, that means I started a keyframe. You can see the blue dot here. And if you also look on the graph right here, you'll see a dot. So we see one keyframe there. So let's go to the middle of the scene the middle of the clip and we'll want it dead center at the middle of the clip. So we're just going to slide it over until it's dead center of the screen. So it's at point A. It was all the way over to the left. At point B, it's right here. At point C, we'll come all the way over here. We'll add a point C and we'll have it all the way off the screen. So we're just going to grab right here and just slide it all the way to the right until it just barely goes off screen. So you have start position, middle position, end position. And that's really it guys. I could dive into this a lot more, but I just wanted to show you guys the basics so you have a better understanding of how to keyframe text, how to add text, how to make titles fade in and fade out. But what I like about titles the best or overlays like this one that's already pre-built, it's already doing everything I need it to do. I don't have to add any keyframes. I don't really have to do anything extra. It even fades in, fades out, disappears, lightning swirls around. It's so much easier just to make these in After Effects and then bring them over into Adobe Premiere Pro and MP4 format than it is to create like a Mogurt file or use one of the pre-built things in, inside Adobe Premiere Pro because they make your program so laggy. If you guys wanna learn how to do that, I'll have videos on those topics that dive into those in great detail down in the description. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. Now I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna cover in the next part. All right guys, I like to keep them short, simple, straight to the point. Drop a comment below if there's any other type of training videos you guys wanna see in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm trying to work on getting the basic beginner things all up in place right now. I already have a ton of great how-to videos on creating custom logos, intros, special effects intros, how to use Envato Elements templates to create logo reveals, logo intros, end screens, lower thirds. Go ahead and check out the links, they're down in the description. I hope you guys have a great 2021, and I'll see you guys in the next video.